Hi, I'm Alex Jordan from Learn Color Grading and FilmSimplify.com. And a while ago, I released a video that um, detailed some nice features in in, uh, in the menus, hidden in the menus in, um, in Resolve. And one of the features got a lot of attention, which is the Selection Follows Play Hint. So um, we're going to take a deeper look at this particular feature today. So what does Selection Follows Playhead mean? It simply means that if you go to Timeline and you activate Selection Follows Playhead, what will happen now is that any clip under the playhead will automatically be selected. So now if I move the playhead on top of this clip, now this is the clip that is being selected, not the orange border around it. And if I move the playhead on top of this clip, now this is the one that is being selected. And you might ask yourself, why is that important? I can simply select a clip. Well, this will make your editing process unbelievably easier without a mouse, just using keyboard shortcuts. Take a look at an example. I will not use a mouse anymore, and what I will do is I'll only use the keyboard now to edit. So for example, I can just play, come to this point, click this button now to make the clip shorter, maybe make a cut here, a cut here, a cut here, and maybe come to this point, you know, and make a cut here. So. Now let's say that after making all these cuts, I want to delete one of these clips. Normally what you need to do is to lift your hands uh, off the keyboard, uh, you know, uh, use the mouse, select the clip, and then hit the keyboard shortcut to delete this clip. That is not a problem at all. However, if you're repeating this, you know, if you're working with a very long uh, editing session, uh, you know, reaching for the mouse every, uh, you know, 10 seconds might not be the easiest thing in the world. So this feature gives you a lot of flexibility because all you need to do now is to move the playhead on top of the clip and simply hit the keyboard shortcut to delete this particular clip. And you can just keep on moving and editing. Maybe I want to delete this one. I'll move the playhead on top of it delete it with a keyboard shortcut, another one here, and you just keep on editing with the mouse. So I'm just editing with the keyboard here without needing to reach for the mouse for the most part. And that's pretty easy and simple. However, sometimes you might run into a small problem. So for example, here I have clips with audio attached to them. However, notice that every time I play, only the video is being selected without the audio, and that might create some problems. For example, if I want to delete now, I just deleted the video without the audio. So what's the solution? It's pretty simple. Let's undo, and I'll simply click this icon here to activate a linked selection. So what's happening here is that once I activated this, every time I select a video clip, Resolve will select the audio clip that is linked to it. I know that these two are linked because I have this icon here at the bottom left of both clips telling me that these clips are linked. So because I activated this, every time I play, Resolve will select the video, and because it selected the video, it will select the audio that goes with it. So now because I activated this option, every time the playhead goes on top of a certain clip, Resolve will select both the video and the audio at the same time. Let's say that you have another clip that doesn't have audio and you added some audio to it. So note that this clip doesn't have audio of its own and I drag the clip, you know, next to it. However, because they're not linked every time I play, even though this option is activated, Resolve still selects the video without the audio. To solve that, it's pretty simple. You need to link them. So I'll select both, right click and select link clips. And note that now I have these icons appeared in the bottom left of both clips. If I undo, these are the clips before being linked. And note that I don't have this icon in the bottom left of both clips. And now once I redo the uh, linking, so they're both linked, I have these icons telling me that these clips are linked. And now every time I hover the playhead on top of the video, the audio will be selected with it. And this is not simply limited to one audio and one video track. You can link as many tracks as you want. So for example, I'll add another clip here and another clip on top of it. And now I can select all these clips, right click and select link clips. And once I click it, now all these clips are linked, which means that as long as this option is being activated, which is the linked selection, what will happen here is every time I select any of these clips, the entire group will be selected along with this particular clip. So now with selection follows playhead, every time the playhead comes on top of one of these clips, the entire group will be selected. And this will enable me to edit the group as a whole. So for example, let's come to this point here, close this gap, add a cut here, a cut here. And now if I wanted to delete this part here that 
is basically a group of clips, I can simply hover the plane head on top of the group and now the entire group is selected and if I hit delete, I just deleted the entire group. Let's undo. Note that if the linked selection option is not activated, if I repeat the same operation by placing the plane head on top of the clips, note that only the top one is being selected. And if I hit delete, for example, I only deleted the top one. So let's undo. So for people who like editing using keyboard shortcuts, this will allow you to um, delete clips, select clips, and do a lot of operations using the keyboard without needing to reach for a mouse at all. So if you like this, please visit us at filmsimplified.com where you can join our free Resolve Crash course that is designed for the absolute beginner with no prior knowledge required at all. Thank you. Filmsimplified.com